Luis Alvarez. Luis Alvarez (1911–1988) was a renowned American physicist of the 20th century who made significant contributions to various fields of science. He is best known for his work on cosmic rays, intercontinental ballistic missiles, radiometric dating, and the theory of mass extinction. Alvarez played an important role in the development of atomic bomb during World War II and later worked on the Manhattan Project. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1968 for his contributions to particle physics. Alvarez's scientific work had a lasting impact on the field of physics and beyond. Luis Alvarez was born on June 13, 1911 in San Francisco, California. He was the second child of Walter and Harriet Alvarez, both of whom were school teachers. Growing up, Alvarez showed a strong interest in science and technology and developed a keen curiosity about the natural world. Alvarez attended the University of Chicago, where he received a bachelor degree in physics in 1932 and a doctorate in 1936. As a graduate student, he worked with Arthur Compton, a Nobel laureate in physics, on the study of cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles that enter Earth's atmosphere from outer space. This research laid the foundation for Alvarez's future work in particle physics and astrophysics. After completing his doctorate, Luis Alvarez joined the faculty at the University of California, Berkeley, where he remained for the rest of his career. During World War II, Alvarez worked on the Manhattan Project, the top-secret government program that developed the first atomic bombs. He was responsible for designing the detonators that triggered the nuclear explosions. Following the war, Alvarez continued his research on cosmic rays, using high-altitude balloons and other tools to study these particles. He also became interested in the use of nuclear weapons for peaceful purposes, including the development of nuclear reactors for power generation. In the 1950s and 1960s, Alvarez turned his attention to the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles, which were becoming an important component of the Cold War arms race. He designed a device called the Linear Accelerator, which was used to test the electronic components of intercontinental ballistic missiles and help to ensure their reliability. In the 1970s, Alvarez began working on the use of radiometric dating techniques to determine the ages of geological materials such as rocks and fossils. He developed new methods for dating materials using the decay of radioactive isotopes, which allowed scientists to determine the ages of samples with greater precision and accuracy. Finally, in 1980s, Alvarez proposed a theory to explain the mass extinction of the dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. He suggested that a large asteroid impact was responsible for the extinction event, an idea that was later supported by evidence from geological studies. Overall, Luis Alvarez made many significant contributions to science during his career, particularly in the fields of particle physics, astrophysics, nuclear weapons, radiometric dating and the study of mass extinctions. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in the Physics in 1968 for his work on subatomic particles. Alvarez died on September 1, 1988 in California at the age of 77. He was survived by his wife, two sons and a daughter.